My name is Jason Feldman, and this is another playbook. Today, we have six traits that you control that will make you a better leader. And if you stick around till the end, I'm going to show you where the real ROI is in this. So let's dive into number one, the first trait that will make you a better leader. And that's your attitude. You know, showing up with the attitude that you want others in your agency to have is so important. Is it easy? Heck no. As an agency owner, you have everything on your shoulders and there's a lot of things that are going wrong that day. There might be, you know, the family at home or whatever. There's a lot of stuff that can go wrong, especially when you're a leader and you have, a, and you're in charge of a lot of stuff. But the most important thing is to not get sideways about it and to check your attitude and make sure that you are giving the attitude that you want to receive as well. If you want to receive a good attitude, then give a good attitude. It definitely comes first, the attitude of you. And it's so important for your team and your family and everything else for you to show up with a great attitude. The reason why I've talked about it is because I don't always show up with the best attitude, you know? Like, I'll be honest, and I don't. And that's something that I'm always working working on because I know it makes a big difference and it's not something that I'm always aware of. Sometimes I can just say a few comments and it just shows that like maybe he has a bad attitude or maybe my attitude gets questioned. <laughs> It's so important to just be aware of that and to be in control of your attitude. Number two is empathy. Empathy for others in your agency, empathy for your clients, and really putting their needs first. It doesn't really matter what we think. You know, I, I hear this a lot with agency owners about how they feel in the agency. It just needs to be flipped because if everybody in the agency feels good, they feel heard, you really care for them, then then what you're gonna get back in return is gonna be a completely different situation. And same with our clients too, really thinking about their needs first, like maybe not ever relying upon a client to call us back, but like being empathetic, knowing that, hey, the last thing anybody wants to do is call their insurance agent, right? So why don't we take the initiative to call them back and that we don't drop any balls in that corner because so many times we can just put it on them and they're gonna forget to call us back. But that's being empathetic for our clients. And I think that that is definitely how we need to approach the leadership in your agency, because when we show the empathy for the others and we take responsibility on ourselves, then that culture of taking things upon yourself is infectious and everybody starts taking that on. So that's number two. Number three is just work ethic. I mean, we control that. We need to show up and work hard and show others what it's like to work hard, not pointing out others behaviors, putting them down, but maybe just showing them like, okay, like this is how to do it. Really just putting that on a pedestal. Number four, I think, is being coachable. At some point, you were probably an amazing agent. And at some point, you probably weren't an amazing agent, right? But like, what makes you a great agent is learning. The world's changing. Everything's changing. And it's important to be coachable and to understand, like, try to improve and, and try to pivot where we need to and not take stuff emotionally, take stuff as just information to get better. The next one is self-control. Ooh, self-control kind of goes along with a lot of the above, but really just exercising self-control in all situations. That will also be something that others will pick up if they know that you have self-control when you're around, and maybe even when you're not around, others will practice self-control. The last one is being on time. I love this one because this is what we expect of our team. We need to do this as well. Like time is so important. If somebody can get twice as much done in one day, that literally means that they're worth the amount of two employees. Employees. And if someone's squandering half their day, you're paying twice as much for that person. So you being on time and showing how important that is will change the behaviors of your agency. Like definitely have to respect others' time if you want them to respect your time. Now, here's the where the real ROI is on this. This is what we expect of our team, right? This is what we need to look for in our team. These six traits, it's a huge deal. Very important. If they have all this stuff, then they are taking charge. They are the kind of employee that we want, right? So take those six, write them down. I love them. These are the traits that we need in our team. And these traits are much better than talent. So these traits go much further than that. I'm Jason Feldman. It's the playbook and I'm out.